think this one will look gorgeous on you. Apply a very small amount back on the product, like so. Put it on top of your brow as well. Beautiful powder. Face powder. Okay, just pull it up like that. Okay. And throws it up. Today we are going to get your makeup done, okay? And you said you wanted a pink-toned springtime look, okay? All right, so I brought a lot of goodies for you today, okay? And I think you're going to absolutely love everything that I have for you, okay? So let's just begin um, with our base, okay? Have this hourglass foundation. I think this one will look gorgeous on you, so let's give it a try. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of product in the palm of my hand, like so, and then I'm going to use this really soft foundation brush, okay? to dab a little bit and then let's just spread it out evenly along your face starting from the center and working our way by brushing it outward okay yeah this one has a really soft finish with very natural radiance, so this will suit you very well. Okay, I'm just making sure that I spread it very evenly and making it as seamless as possible, going in with very gen gentle strokes. Okay, I'm going to move forward. This is a great brush as well because it's um, dome shaped and it's very flat, so it's good for brush like so. And it's very, very soft as well. Okay, let me just clip your hair back. Should have done that in the beginning, but let's just do it. cute as well. Okay. Okay, moving forward. I'm going to use this um, really pretty pink palette. It's called Forbidden Pink. Okay. You open it up and it's just like the most gorgeous neutral pink tone you can find, as you can see, and these blend out very well. So we have this beautiful mauve color right here, okay? It's like a mauve color with just the most gorgeous pink undertone, this one right here, okay? And then on this quadrant, we have a shimmery, um, almost translucent shade right here, not too sparkly, it's a very um, sophisticated shimmer. Okay. On the bottom right corner here, I have like a more rosy shimmer color. Okay, this one is uh, slightly more pigmented than this one. Okay, so that one is more translucent, and this one has a bit of a copper undertone. Okay, and then finally, this is the second matte color in this quad just like a beautiful um, berry brown color 
that goes very well with the overall look that we're going for here, okay? So I'm just going to start with an eyeshadow brush. Okay, I'm going to use let's see. Okay, I'm going to use this fluffy ended brush right here. I'll just begin with this matte pink mauve shade right here. Okay, and just spread it gently all over your lid. This is probably the most gorgeous um, mauve color I have ever seen. Right here. Okay, just so pretty. It's a great for daytime as well as evening. So the versatility is really on point here for this entire quad. I'm just working my way, uh, blending this on your other eye. These like, they almost blend themselves so you don't have to work really hard to get a really nice look. Okay, and now I'm actually going to go to this uh, berry brown color, which is also matte, and just use this almost as um, a smoky look, very close to the lash line, okay? And then I'm just gonna blend upward and fade it out from the lash line. Okay, so. And I just love how this formula blends so easily and seamlessly without almost any effort at all. combination of this berry brown with this mauve pink color is just stunning. So I'm gonna go here to the other eye. two shimmer shades left, okay? Now you don't have to use everything in this quad, okay? It's use what you like up to the point where you want to stop, okay? So we have two options. We can go with this one um, in the center of the eye or we can go with this one. You know what I'm thinking? We can use this one in the middle of your eye and then use this at the inner corner and maybe the brow bone. I think that would be a great idea. Right? Okay. So let me just go here. Apply a very small amount just in the center of your lid. That way you get a little bit of um, a sparkle. Okay. And the other eye. said, we can use this other um, shimmer shade and inner corner plus brow bone. So. This one, other. Okay, and this is great for the brow bone. It'll give you like a very defined arch and just gives you a really nice lift. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. Look at 
absolutely stunning. All right. Um, and this is also comes with these travel brushes that actually do come in handy if you are on the go. Okay. So these do come in this quad, which is very convenient. Got your eyes done. Let me just move on to eyeliner. So I'm going to use this brown, slightly berry colored eyeliner because I think it goes really well with the colors in this quad. Okay, so that way we get a more muted look. So it's not really black, okay? We'll have a more sophisticated eye look with this brown um, eyeliner, okay? And the color is actually called brownie, so that really works well together. Okay, I'm just going to... There we go. And let's not do a cat eye. I'm just going to gently um, apply this at your waterline, okay? So that way we get more definition, but it's very, very natural looking. Okay, go to the other eye. Near the waterline, okay? I'm just going to go from the inner corner to the outer corner. And a slight upward stroke. I think that works really well, if not even better than if you brush in a straight line. If you can just kind of pinpoint near the waterline and then when you when it all comes together it looks very natural. Like so. Okay. There we have it. Here is our lovely eyeliner and you know, I'm so sad that this is um, discontinued okay so if you're looking for a brown or berry colored um, eyeliner Charlotte Tilbury has a pillow talk eyeliner which is really good or so I've heard so if you're out of brown eyeliners I will use that one instead okay all right to go on with the same berry color um, theme, rosy berry colors, okay? I'm going to also pair you with um, this berry colored um, mascara, okay? This is um, the Pillow Talk Mascara, Push Up Mascara in Dream Pop. So you can see it's not black and it goes really well with this quad, okay? So let me just let's just do your beautiful lashes. As you can see, this one has a really cool um, brush. You have a flat side and one side that has more bristles. So you want to apply with the flat end first to pack on the product, okay? And then you want to rotate at a diagonal and then swivel, like so. So step one is always to pack on the product first, like that, okay? So let's try the same with your other eye. Make it more product on our wand. Okay, there we go. Have the product here. And then, so flat end first, like that. Pack on the product, like so. And once you feel like you have enough product on, rotate the wand at a diagonal and then 
swivel upward. That way you get the volume and the lift. This is why I really like this mascara. And I love using it on my clients, like yourself. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Okay. And um, once we're done with this look, I'm going to put everything um, in a makeup bag. This key baggie here so that you can take it with you to go. Okay? Near the end. So moving on, um, I think we might do your uh, blush and maybe some contouring if you're up for that. Okay? I brought this liquid blush in pink chasm. It looks like that. Okay? It's a very shimmery highlighter and blush in one, okay? I think it's, it complements the look that we are going for today very well. So that's the first option. And I'm also thinking of perhaps using one of these shades over here on the bottom, okay? For some discreet contour. What do you think? Okay, and then we can maybe use this as a highlighter if you want it, okay? I also have this other highlighter over here. So, okay. Just start with actually the contouring first. What I'm going to do is um, use this darker shade here under the jawline. side. Mm -hmm. Make sure I really blend it out, especially on the bottom, so that it's seamless. Beautiful. And then let's just go, um, let me see. Let me use a smaller brush for around our nose, and we can use this medium um, color right here, the slightly lighter contouring shade, just along the side of her nose, and the other side, and then I'm just going to obviously blend them out for you, okay, just give you like the right amount of shading, so that your nose looks very defined. If you want, we can go here and blend the two together, and then a little bit on top of your hairline, like so. Just a little bit, nothing too dramatic. Okay, and then okay, and then now I think I'm going to do the blood, uh, the highlighter here. This is a really beautiful champagne color. The nose. Keep this bow. A little bit on top of your brow as well. Okay. Okay. This palette also comes very handy as well. Okay. Finally, let's just do your pink. done. Um, just kind of define your eyebrows a little bit, okay? Here is just a very nice um, brow gel, okay? This is in a blonde, grayish blonde color. Okay, so I'm just going to 
just to slightly define your brow and also to keep the little hairs in place. Okay, just good for touch-ups as well. do that at the end. Okay. Just going to set it. Just push very gently all over. I'm avoiding the cheek area because we do have the liquid um, blush that is still in the process of drying. Okay. So I'm just going to avoid that area. But everywhere else I will just gently Apply this beautiful powder, face powder. Okay. Okay. Finally, I have this gorgeous um, colored um, matte lipstick. Okay. And this one is almost empty, so you know it's really good. Because how often do we finish a tube of lipstick, right? So you know it's good if you're almost at the end. And what's really nice about this is it's a reusable lipstick case with sparkly stuff all around it. I love this case. And once you're done with the lipstick, you can just refill it with the same color or a different color of your choosing. Just pull it up like that, okay? And this is in the color Wedding Bells, which is a really gorgeous pink nude, nude color, okay? So let me just apply. most gorgeous matte pink lipstick um, in the market, in my opinion, okay? Wow, you look absolutely stunning. Just really amazing, okay? So like I said, I'm going to put every product that we have used today in this adorable quilted makeup pouch. And then you can take everything with you to go and use these products as you please. Okay, so get this one. This lovely face palette. Have your lovely pink eyeshadow quad. This extra highlighter if you want to use that as well. It's also very nice pink tones in it as well. Let me show you. Okay, so it has many colors in there. And then our lovely setting powder, of course, your base. We have um, your liquid blush, mascara, amazing lipstick and your brow gel and finally your brown eyeliner okay so I have everything here let me just a bit of free oh you know what let's get a hair clip out this one and this one you want these as well of course okay I'm gonna put it in your baggie these are just little flowers so cute. Okay, I'll put it in your bag. Close it up. Okay, and this is all your goodies, okay? There you go. And before we finish everything, I'm going to spray you down with this gorgeous um, perfume. I don't know how to say this, but it smells way good. It's called Melrose Place. Okay. 
This is just like the most cleanest floral um, scent that I can think of. It's a combination of um, lychee, champagne, uh, and rose. Okay, it's just, I love the top notes as well as the base notes. So the dry down is also really amazing as well. Okay, let's just break this. Lovely. Okay, now we have a magnetic top topper. Just really neat. Okay, and you know what? I'm just going to give this to you as well. So that this completes your um, springtime look. Okay, and take this with you and play around with it. Okay? Thank you so much for coming in today and I hope you have a wonderful day.